Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with a Beth Israel Rabbi. This coming Shabbat, we read Parshat Vayikhel. This Torah portion includes details of the building of the Mishkan and tells us that the artisans, such as Betzalel, who are to build the Mishkan and the accoutrements within the Mishkan are to have an asuli bow, are to have a stirred heart. Ibn Ezra explains that they are to have an exalted heart, an exalted desire to build the Mishkan because of their love for the Jewish people and for God. Ramban explains that these people have a generosity of heart because they have a skill set that is unmatched by others and they want to give all that they can. The Torah text goes on to say that it's not only these artisans that give of themselves, but it's the members of the community that give financially, that give material as well to build the Mishkan. In fact, later in the Torah, we are told that the people of Israel came together to such a degree to build the Mishkan and to donate that Moshe actually has to say to the people, enough, please, don't bring any more. Yes. Ooh, wait one second. Yes, Melody, what? Yeah, I have oh, excellent, <laughs> wonderful. I am so looking forward to having them tomorrow morning, Thursday morning. Excellent, thank you, Melody. Amen. I love the scrambled eggs. <laughs> thank you, Melody. Welcome. The question, of course, is what can we do for a community? What can we do in order to build, in order to make our sacred space a sacred space? We as a community have come together literally over 90 years to create Congregation Beth Israel in so many different ways, including Morning Minion, which is one of the most Rabbi, important... Oh, oh, one Tunis second. Tuna Oh, thank you. Melody, you know, we love the tuna salad every yes. Shabbat morning. I'm happy to serve Melody. Thank you, Melody. Yes, thank you. The reality, though, is it's not just a question of what we can do for the synagogue. It's a question of what we can do for you as well. We are here not only to be built, but to help build our communal connection, our connection to God, spiritually, emotionally, and of course, even from a perspective of food. We are so happy that this week we have already begun once again to be able to serve food at Morning Minion, and for the first time in a number of months to have Shabbat Morning Kiddush with tuna salad, Melody's tuna salad that we've all been waiting for this Shabbat morning. We look forward to seeing you this Shabbat as we gather together as a community to celebrate Shabbat and finally to be able to eat together. Shabbat Shalom.